Hello everyone, Android 13 has just officially came out and I'll show you a quick beginner's guide on kind of how to use this particular version of software. There's lots of cool improvements which we'll talk about throughout this video, but the very first thing that's very, very important is essentially how to use this particular version of software and that's the installation process. To install it, it's actually pretty basic. The first thing I recommend doing is going straight into Google's you know, install page and you can do that by going basically one, connecting to Wi-Fi, which I haven't even done yet. So once connected, you can go ahead and make your way over to your Google page and you can just basically you know, look up Android 15 install. And when you do that, you'll come into this page. What you can always do is click on get Android 15 right here and you can scroll through their whole entire release log that'll show you a bunch of information here. And what you wanna do is if you have a Google Pixel 6a, 7a or above, then you'll be able to install this version of software. But if you don't, if you have an older version of a phone, you won't be able to use this particular version. You're gonna be stuck on an older version. So click on enroll in Android 15 beta, and then you can click on view your eligible devices. And right at the bottom, once one, you wanna make sure you're not installing this beta on a main device. If you're installing this on your main pixel, please do not do it, that's a terrible idea. But if you're installing it on a side phone of some sort, then you can go and kind of do that here. Now, whenever you're ready and you have backed up your device and everything, you can scroll down and you can go and opt in your particular device here. All you wanna do is click on opt in and you should be able to opt in your device. And that's kind of the first way to get started. Now there are lots and lots of new changes and improvements within this person, you know, within the specific version of software. And the first thing is, is that we now get partial screen sharing within our particular Android device. So if you're within a device software or whatever, you should now be able to go through, like if you're within Google Meets or something, you can now go ahead and essentially like share a part of your screen or whatever within a particular application instead of going through and you know showing up your whole screen. So that's a really cool thing. Also, we now have the capability of basically having satellite connectivity support. So we have this before in some Android, some iPhones have had this too, but now you're going to be basically be able to get it at a higher scale. So that's another really cool thing going on within this particular version of Android as well. Now, another thing is notification cooldown. So if you're somebody who's very popular or you get a lot of notifications for some reason, what you can now do is you can now basically go through and get this notification cooldown thing, which will allow you to go through and essentially like if you're getting a ton of notifications, you can essentially just go through and kind of cool down your notifications by just going into notifications. I think in the future, there's going to be an option that'll come up and it will allow you to basically go through and kind of cool down on the amount of notifications you're getting. So that's another really cool thing and you can find that within this particular application setting as well. Now, another cool thing is within our camera application. So now we have a few more options that we can kind of modify. So for one, we now have a few more controls and extra kind of you know, abilities that we didn't really have before. So you can click at the bottom and you can go ahead and change your brightness. You can go and make it lower or higher, depending on what you want to do. And that in and of itself is a really cool thing that we now have on our version of Android as well, which again is a very, very cool thing. I love having this type of capability. And that in and of itself is another cool thing. And on top of that, going back to sounds and vibration, if you actually click there, we now have this cool little option within our keyboards, which now gives us universal keyboard vibration control. So now what you can do is click on sound and vibration. And what you can do here is under sound and vibration at the very bottom, what you can do is you can go ahead to vibration and haptics. You can now go ahead and have this keyboard vibration toggle, which will now go ahead and be universal. And you can go and control your particular, you know, keyboard vibration right within this particular panel, which again is a very, very cool thing to basically, you know, have happen here. We also have a little bit of a change within our Bluetooth, you know, pop-up. So now if we swipe down and if we swipe down one more time, if we click on the and tap on this Bluetooth pop-up, it can now give us this better looking enhanced version of our pop-up, which is only going to look better from now. So this is another really cool thing. Now we do have some you know, options in the future that will basically allow us to kind of modify this a little bit better. So once Android 15 becomes a little bit more mature, this panel should end up looking a lot better. That's another really cool thing. Now, if you ever use a webcam within your particular device, you are now getting higher quality webcam mode within our Android device too which is another really cool thing. And that's another really big feature. If you're using a webcam on this particular device, the cameras are going to be higher quality and that's another really cool thing going on within this particular beta. Now, another big thing is that if you have a foldable phone, you should now be getting some better features there too. But another cool thing is that if you use a cover screen, so if you ever use one of those cases that are cover screens, those should be a little bit more optimized here too, which is really, really cool. And they won't have accidental touches on the display either like we've had before. So. Overall, what I'll definitely tell you is at this point, something like the Google Pixel 7, 6a, 7a, all these types of devices are going to be a lot better throughout time. But a big thing I'd recommend doing, again, don't install this on your main device, but if you're installing this on your you know, current device, a side device of some sort, 
keep your Android phone up to date. So go inside of your main settings panel right here, scroll down into system, scroll into software support and software updates, and just keep your you know, system update available. So just go through, update your phone as often as you can. And that's another thing I'd recommend doing too. So that's kind of a quick way of how to use your Google Pixel on Android 15 as of right now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.